everybody. Welcome to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebalski. The Penguins could close things out with a win here tonight, Ray. You want to put this series to bed as quickly as possible? You've got the lead. It's time to finish it off. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Picked up along the boards by Latang. The Islanders take it across the line. Here's a chance. That goes off a twig. Moves it to Lee. Takes the pass. Couldn't complete the play. Quick pass to Crosby. Now a quick pass to Kapanen. Centering pass. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Barlamov's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. The Penguins have it against the wall. Receives the pass. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Back to the blue line. Here's a short pass to Malkin and makes the save. Puck scooped up by Pulak. And now he moves it to Lee. He grabs the puck here at the point. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Barzell. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Islanders take possession in the defensive end. Takes the feed. The Islanders are on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it. Moves the puck. Sends a pass over. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Nelson. Great pass from off the right side. A chance in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Solid check to slow him down. The Penguins have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sevier. Gains the zone through center. Grabs control of it at the point. Good battle along the boards for the puck. New York's got it behind the net. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. And that one's blocked. Turn that one aside. Puck picked up by Boychuk. Pajot's got it on the offensive end. Here he is in front. And he gets a paddle on that one. Del Cole's exploring options with the puck. Here's the chance to set up now. Set it out in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Crosby's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Getzel's taking it from his own end. The Penguins take it along the wing. Let's it go. Battle along the boards. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Pushes it across to Clutterbuck. Handles the puck. New York's looking to break out of their own end. A little back and forth. New York's got it along the wall. Move to the middle. Gives them nothing in front. Quick feed to Latang. And now he tries to get it across to Gensel. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Quick feed down low. Couldn't find the intended target. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. 
No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. Poked away. Denies him on the slapper. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Denies him in front. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. More than half the period left to play. We've still got zeros on the board. Mulkins won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Jostled off the puck. Strong defensive effort. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. The Islanders go to work on offense. What a steal in his own end. New York's got the puck in their own end. Moves it to Everly. Here's an odd man rush. Jabs the puck away. The Penguins take it across the blue line. Moves right to the middle, and he can't find his man. The Islanders move it ahead. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate. Big save. Sends the pass over. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Letty stick handling in his own zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. Rust's going off to the box for two minutes. Well, next time he's going to have to find a better way to get in front of the player. He reaches out and grabs him. He'll go to the box. I feel like you could have got away with this back in your day. You could get away with a lot in our day. <laughs> The Islanders will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they'll get their first power play in a game that is scoreless. Take advantage if you can. See if you can get on the board or at least get your team a leg up. Can't connect! I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. The centermen glide into position. New York's won the faceoff. From the slot, fires away. He was locked in there. And the puck leaves the zone. The Islanders have it against the wall. Slides the puck to Nelson. Pass back to the point. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. And they manage to clear it. Nice pass. Takes it from the right side. Skates to the crease. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he puts that one aside with ease. Even though that puck is delivered with great velocity, that looked like a pretty easy stop for the goalie to make. More than half the period has expired. Still looking for our first goal. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Grabs the puck in the slot. Made the stop on the play. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. New York's going to play the puck from behind the cage. And now it's over to Lee. Strong defensive effort. Puck grabbed by Bailey. Quick pass to Marcel. His reflexes on display tonight. Denies him again. Wait, they're signaling a goal. And it looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling a goal now. That's a pretty big blunder in the defensive zone. It cost him a goal there. The Islanders get a big one here in the back half of the first. It's almost like the other team's been sleepwalking a little bit. So many of the shots have been one way. Eventually, the lead's going to be taken. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Crosby. And that one's broken up. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. 
The Islanders have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Clutterbuck swooping in on the attack. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Lee's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a short pass to Kapanen. New York's got the puck. Slides it over to Komarov. Goes right to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender. Pinned up along the boards. Taken by Ruedel. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Jankowski. No one home on that play. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Can't maintain possession after that hit. The Islanders move to the offensive zone. Quick feed to Del Cole. And he comes up with the save. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Islanders have taken a 1-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Handles it along the blue line. Moves it to Pedersen. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Rust. Takes control of the puck. New York's got possession here in the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And now he angles it across to Malkin. Moves it up through the middle from the right. New York's got the puck along the boards. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. Another chance here on the man advantage. At practice, they were working on a cross-crease one-timer. Quick movement side to side. And he denied that opportunity. 14 minutes, 34 seconds. The Islanders have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Xavier's lugging the puck. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Here's a pass down low. Slides the puck over. Chance in front, and the puck skips off the glove. But he came out and challenged a good save. And they move the puck out of harm's way. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. Here's the pass. That one's off the blocker. Good clearing attempt to breathe. New York's got the puck along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Eberle. Oh, what a save with the stick by Harlemov. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Quick pass to Beauvillier. Pittsburgh's killed the penalty. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. They didn't really give up anything. Quick pass to Beauvillier. The Islanders take it along the wall. Big time stop there. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it ahead to Latang. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Excellent stick work on the play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Beauvillier. Takes the pass. Nelson's got it along the wing. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Receives the pass. Nice dish from the left wing. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. 
and grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Right in the slot. Off the outside of the post and stays out. Pittsburgh's players are frustrated as they have a really good scoring chance, but it hits the post and doesn't close the gap. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Keeps hold of the puck. From the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Tennis going to get two for hooking on the play. You get caught when you don't move your feet. Now you've got to reach out to slow the player down. He's in the box. It's rightly so. New York's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Off the try. A nice job locking up his opponent. Here he is on the backhand. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. New York's lead now extends to two as they make their way back to center ice here. Probably a little surprising. It's not more than two, James. They've had the majority of shots on goal and the majority of the dangerous chances. Fires it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck to Lee. Takes the feed. Oh, and a heads up play to poke it away. The hard sounds of the first period comes to an end. The Islanders on fuego after the first 20 minutes of play. A couple of quick strikes. They lead it 2-0. Don't forget to get the seats you want to the games you want by purchasing one of our six game ticket packets today. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Period two is set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Islanders have lots to like about that first period. Man, they control just about everything, including the shots, but more importantly, the goals. They're up by two. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. It sticks between the player's feet. And their first chance to use the man advantage. I scored about 25% of my goals on the power play. I made a living on it. One of the things, if you're on it, you better produce or they're going to make changes. Here's a short pass to Letty. Quick shot with the stop. Takes the puck behind the net. And they can't connect. Scrum along the boards. Delayed penalty looming. And the officials stop the play. Let's see what the call is. Rust's been called for holding. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. They'll play some four on four. I think the best strategy is to be aggressive on the four-on-four. Four. Don't wait for the other guys to make a mistake. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. A chance! Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! The Islanders have it behind the net. Driving right to the front! Save made by the goalie! Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Great poke check on the reach. Up along the wing. Pittsburgh's got it in the neutral zone. Crosby's got it across the line. 
And a poke check knocks the puck away. New York's gained possession along the boards. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. I saw the hold, did you? Yeah, so did 18,000 other people, so it's no surprise the ref got it as well. A very short-handed penalty killing unit here. A little four on three on deck. Quick puck movement is the key on four on three. I guess it is on a regular power play too, but with just three defenders, you want to try and pull them out of position. Then you're going to end up with an open shot. Lee's been able to put this team on his back. He's among the league leaders in points in this playoff season. The Islanders have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Turns it away. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. They clear the zone. Passed up ahead. Love the way he moved that puck up quickly. The Islanders carry it along the wall. The Penguins have it against the wall. Jubilance hauled down. Penalty on the way. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, though. none. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. Well, the goalies have to be sharp here because there's every bit of possibility that someone's going to break free pretty quickly on four on four. Moves it quickly over to Beauvillier. Here he is with the backhander, and he rings the post. The Islanders are hit with a little bit of bad luck here. It's a really good shot. The puck hits the post, but they're still leading the game. Tries to get it over to Malkin. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Beauvillier. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Mayfield. The Penguins' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Moves it to Nelson. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Looks to pass it to Malkin. Quick pass to Nelson. Tucked into the cross side. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Malkin. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. New York's looking to break out of their own end. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Penalty coming up. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it quickly over to Eberle. And now he moves it to Boychuk. Centering pass! And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. Rust's gonna serve two for holding on this play. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's gonna have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Power play unit going back to work. Sometimes it's just your night, and the way that they've performed on the power play, it kind of feels like they're going to get another one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. One second. New York's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Barzell's won the draw. Quick feed to Bailey. Can't connect. Pittsburgh's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Islanders lead this one to zip. Barzell's won the draw here in the open ice. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Grabbed along the boards by Barzell. A chance right in front. Oh, just wide of the net. Doesn't miss by much. That's a good shot. Just outside of the cage. And now it's to McCann. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Penguins go to work on offense. And he totally whiffs on that one. 
Moving into the attacking zone. Pittsburgh's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. Battle along the boards. Stays with it. The Islanders ready to go on the attack. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. Close that off. He can't get it with his pad, and the blocker's not quick enough. The Islanders now lead it 3-0 here as they get back to center. This game's in danger of being a rout, James. They've had the puck most of the time, and now they're up a field goal. New York's looking to break out. Moves it to Everly. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The Islanders have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Puts it in deep. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Crosby's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a shot. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Varlamov. He was telling me that oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. Getzel's going off for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. Stones up with the blocker. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Denied by the goaltender. Barlomov's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 3-0 is where we sit. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. And he gains the zone here. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made that stop. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Big play inside the defensive zone. Knocked off the puck. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. I really like their work ethic on this power play because it didn't go in the net early for them. They had to stay at it. They kept all kinds of pressure on the penalty killers. Eventually, you just wear them out, and they're able to score. And they're going to mix it up between the pipes here. That'll do it for him. Mercifully, this has been a long night. New York's widened the gap yet again tonight, Ray. How far can you widen a gap? Because they keep adding on to it, it seems like, shift by shift. The Islanders win the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Here's a shot. Glove save, but an easy one at that. Number 29, Brock Nelson. Time of the goal, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. The Islanders lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. 
Malkin's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's get the official decision. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away, not let it affect the current power play. Puck slid down the ice. Works it across to Gensel. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Crosby. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Let's it fly. Stopped by the goaltender. Mulkins caught with the hook and the official saw it. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. A big two-man advantage, a five-on-three as the puck is set to be dropped. I don't think their power play's been very good tonight, James, even though they have been on the board with it. It should be a lot more precise with the talent that they have. And there's the save. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Fantastic save! Blocked in front. Another stop by the goaltender. He gets that one, too! Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Varlamov's always a battler, and here he makes a great save on this chance. Crosby's one of their only hopes to get back in the game. Their deficit is so large, they're going to need a lot to go right. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a big time stop by Varlamov! He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Looks to get the puck over to Rust. Quick pass to Komarov. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Jostles the puck loose. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Takes it to the net. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Penguins are in transition. Here's a short pass to Gensel. Puts it on net. Blocker save. And he's showing up big time tonight. Varlamov's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. The Islanders have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Offense's own face off, and he wins the draw. Moves it quickly over to Matheson. Comes up with the stop. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. New York's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff. Here's a shot, just wide. Picked up along the boards by Gensel. And that's broken up. Quick feed to Beauvillier. Throws it in. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Crosby. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. The Islanders have it from their own end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Sends it across. Denied that one. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned. But he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Well past the midway mark of this period, New York's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. And now he tries to get it across to Sevier. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by DeSmith. Nice poke check. Referee Shillabek's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Slides the puck down low. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Penguins have been penalized, holding the call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. New York's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. 
right from the way they break out of the zone and enter in. This power play looks like it's all on the same page tonight. Here's another chance. Scrum ensues along the boards and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Stick saved by DeSmith. Pittsburgh's got possession while undermanned. Maintains possession. Takes the feed at the point. Stones him in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. The Islanders have been called for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Really only two ways to play the four-on-four. Four. You're either uber-aggressive or you're ultra-conservative. I want to be aggressive, force the other guys into a mistake. Moves the puck along the half wall, pinned up along the boards. And he serves it across to Pullock. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. Interference is the call. Intentions were good, though, I would think. Yeah, but you got to realize I'm in the wrong spot. I can't get in the way like he did. The Islanders with a four-on-three power play coming up. The teams that have the most success four-on-three, James, they move around their power play. They don't stand in the same spot all the time. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Good hit on the play. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Barzell's going to play it against the half wall. And that one's broken up. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Picked up along the wall by McCann. Quick pass to Everly. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. And now it's grabbed by Everly. Here's a short pass to Marcel. Puts it on goal. Off the glove and the puck skips away. Smart defensive play there. And as he skates back out onto the ice, it's a brief power play. They'll have to go to work here. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Islanders with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Here they come on the attack. The Islanders can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. New York's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. New York's got the puck. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Along the wall! Big time stop! Taken along the wall by Beauvillier. Denied by DeSmith. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Man, he got rid of that puck in a hurry. But the goaltender was even better. The glove makes the nice stop. Late goings of this period. The Islanders came out with jump, and they have been nonstop right from the start, leading 4 0. New York's won the draw, and they'll go to work. They score! Centerman practice face-offs at the end of every practice. This time, the defensive guy loses position. The puck ends up on the shooter's stick, and he rifles it by the goaltender. The Islanders have come to play, and they show no signs of slowing down here in the second. No, and there's still enough time left that you can't take your foot off the gas. Keep pushing forward. Puck scooped up by Letty. On the attack along the boards. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. With some open space at center. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. 
Gilles Lebeck blows the whistle and someone is off to the box. The Islanders will serve two for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. McCann's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. The Islanders are on cruise control here in the second. They have absolutely dominated. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. Hey, fans, we have a car in the east lot with its lights on. FSV 4494. Don't your license plate. It's a blue sedan. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. The Islanders penalty killers get off to a good start winning possession here. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Penguins have it behind the cage. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Just wide. The Penguins get a hold of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Slides it across. Oh, what a save by Varlamov. Cuts to the front. Great reflexes, another save. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Varlamov's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. New York's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. And the puck clears the zone. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Crosby's picking up steam. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. Well, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Oh. That's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. The Islanders have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Stop that one. The Penguins have it against the wall, and that pass goes awry. Moves the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Couldn't make that one happen. Pokes it away in his own end. Back at the point, they set it up. Nothing doing on that. Levels them with the hit. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. New York's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. New York's gained possession along the boards. Sends a pass over. Pushes it across to Boychuk. Puck picked up by Sizikis. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Quick feed to Beauvillier. That's gloved by DeSmith. 
Let's get another look at that hit. Everybody likes a clean hit. Watch how solidly he goes through, makes the contact there. That's a big hit. New York's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Handles the puck with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Rust. Oh, and another big stop. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Islanders came to play, and boy, did they ever, leading 5 0. Puck grabbed by Jubilin. Made the save on the play. He decides not to cover it up and sends it away. New York's got the puck along the boards. Takes a shot. Makes the save. Barlamov's not impressed with that scoring chance. Glove save. Turn it away. New York's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Sends the pass over. Latang's gaining momentum. Gets the puck in deep. New York's got it behind the net. Slides the pass over to Pellet. Taken by Barzell. Lee's able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it over to Tanev. The Penguins play it along the wing. Grabbed along the boards by Tanev. The Islanders scoop it up along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Into the corner, he takes the pass. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. The Islanders play it along the boards. Pittsburgh's got possession here in the neutral zone. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to Ruido. In close! Oh, what a stop by Varlamov! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game has been outstanding. Now they've got it again, and they can hold it down underneath the blue line. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the corner. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Off a stick. Down the right side and into the zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Slides it on over to Tanev. Here's a chance. Chaps the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Crosby. Wrists one. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Quick pass. Here he is. Shot right in front. Answered the call there. Barlamov's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. The Islanders' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Nelson's won the draw. And now it's over to Mayfield. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. That pass doesn't go. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Pittsburgh's got possession here in the offensive zone. Beauvillier's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Bailey. New York's in transition. Now over to Nelson. Great heads-up play in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Zucker. Along the half wall with the puck. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Sisikis moves it ahead. Pittsburgh's on the attack. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Sends it quickly to Jankowski. Gains the zone through the middle. And the puck skips away after that move. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. 
Puts it to the front of the net. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a short pass to Komarov. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Cutting to the front of the net. Dismissed that chance. Dead center. Excellent save. Dismissed at the back of this man advantage break against. But he reads the play really well. Gets out. Moves across the net to make the stop. More than half the period has expired. We are in blowout territory right now. It's 5-0. Steps in and takes the puck. And now it's grabbed by Sevier. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Loose puck battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they are on the attack. Shot gives them nothing in front. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Manages to hang on. Redirected shot. Goalie makes a save. High quality chance, high quality save. Trying to get back on the attack now. Can't find his man. Moves it quickly over to Dumoulin. Trying to get the puck away from the Inferno here. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Penguins have it against the wall. The Islanders gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Varlamov's the last line of defense, and he has to come up big for his team again. The two-on-one yields a really good chance, but a better stop. New York's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Nice job tying up his opponent. Big hit along the boards. He uses the boards in perfect form here. He closes off the gap and runs them in. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Tries to get the puck to Ruido. New York's got possession at center. The Islanders have the puck in the corner. And that's turned aside by DeSmith. Tries to get the puck over to Rust. Pittsburgh's across the blue line. Hangs onto the puck. And he slides it quickly to Malkin. Hammers the shot. Fearless. Totally fearless on the block. Great read to break up the play. Pokes the puck away. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Quick feed to Malkin. Russ's last stick's in the garbage dump. He had to go get a new one. Zucker's got it against the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. With the steal. To the front. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And that's picked off in front. Puck scooped up by Nelson. Nice zone entry on the left side. New York's got the puck against the half wall. Stays with it. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by DeSmith. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. The Islanders are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Denies him in front. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Here in the late goings of the period, the Islanders all over them tonight. They lead it 5-0. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. The Penguins played along the boards. Big save. Puck picked up by Clutterbuck. Gaining momentum along the boards. Sends it in deep. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Tanev. They've got numbers. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Intercepts it at center. Penalty coming up here. 
A little too, little too late, and I'm sure some people in this building would have wished the clock would have just run out. Clutterbuck's going off for hooking. That's kind of a bad penalty to take. You reach out with your hands, and the referee sees your stick parallel to the ice. He's going to call it most times. The Penguins once again send out their power play unit. Oh, here they go again. They haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, James. But here's a chance to crack through with the man advantage. Long jam in front. That's broken up. And he regains control of the puck. And a successful clearing attempt. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance right in the slot. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Takes the feet at the back end. From the point, looks to make something happen. Can't catch up to the pass. Puck clears the zone. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Now a quick pass to Zucker. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Islanders don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The power play unit goes to work with a two-man advantage. What a great opportunity to get a five-on-three power play. The only danger is you become passive looking for the perfect play, and you don't shoot the puck enough. Steps inside. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. Snaps it on net. Big stop by the keeper. Barlamos read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. New York's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. Centering pass! Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the wall by Latang. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. 28 seconds to go. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Varlamov. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. New York's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped with ease. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Offense his own face-off, and he wins the draw. Excellent stick work on the play. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Passes on over to Zucker. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Sends it over. Takes the shot. Great save by Varlamov. Crosby's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Here we go. Three apiece. They will play a seventh and deciding game next. They got to be ecstatic. I mean, here they are. They pushed this series right to the limit. You win in game six. You feel like you've got some momentum when you start game seven. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.